Okay, so to start with the um, JWT stuff, I'm gonna have to install this JSON Web Token library. So I'm gonna do npm install JSON Web Token. JSON Web Token is gonna get installed. By then, I'll create two directories. One I'll call utils. I'm gonna create another directory and I'm gonna call it middlewares. Okay, so we got our middlewares, we got utils. Inside utils, I'm gonna create a new JavaScript file which is gonna call JWT. Okay, JWT. Okay um okay and i'm gonna do like of course cons jwt uh, equal to require this uh json web token stuff okay um how do we create new tokens uh, like this and then we verify tokens using uh this method so i'll do that i'm gonna create this um async function create jwt given a user object um so it's gonna be jelly dot sign uh with some secret. So I'm gonna have like um say so this uh string should ideally be not be part of my source code, should be coming from a separate place. We're gonna make those changes later on in our project. But uh so I'm gonna like you know make this you know secret string long random string which is basically my secret stuff um this is used to encrypt and decrypt my tokens um it is going to use this algorithm called hmac sha 256 i'm going to do uh so away jwt dot uh sign uh the user object and with uh with the secret okay so jwt secret that's going to give me the uh, const token equal to jwt dot uh, sign so let me just check it out jwt dot sign is uh, is asynchronous uh, synchronous when uh, it returns the json string okay so there's going to be synchronous stuff here i'm going to do like this um, no need to wait do that okay um great stuff uh, and i'm gonna return return the token here um this is gonna be another function async uh, function uh verify jwt verify jwt requires uh the payload uh secret or private key uh stuff okay so i'm gonna do like the payload stuff And when to verify, I need to pass the token, and I pass uh, the uh, secret of public key, and uh, what I get in response is basically the decoded object. Okay, so I'm gonna do verify JWT, pass the token. Uh, so const user equal to JWT dot verify pass the token pass the JWT secret and return the user object okay so i'm gonna export both of these model exports equal to create jwt verify jwt okay um so there goes that um what i'm gonna do is for creating jwt and exporting jwt stuff i'm gonna go to the users uh, controller and um uh, so this uh, user find one that I'm doing everywhere or this uh, user create that I'm doing. Uh, what we need to do here is uh, do another call like say const created user equal to await users dot uh, find uh, one um, where id uh, where or like where username is uh, this user dot username okay uh, but i'm gonna pass some attributes and the attributes would be an array which uh, so the stuff that i need to return uh, as per the documentation is uh, email token 
username bio and image so i need to only pass these email username bio and uh, image right email token uh, email username bio and image the token what i'm going to do is uh, import uh, that stuff here const uh, create jwt uh, equal to require you know, dot dot slash util slash jwt so i'm going to get the jwt util uh, up here uh, created user dot token equal to um, await and create jwt for this uh, created user right and return the created user so i'm going to do some stuff like this okay uh, i'm going to do some stuff like this here in verify user as well i'm going to find an user with the attributes specified so that extra stuff is not fetched from the database uh, i'm going to do uh, this thing here as well So I'm going to do user dot token equal to create the JWT and pass it there. Let me just uh, run this again and see if that part of the code is uh, working correctly or not. So if I like log in with this guy and oh password does not match. Okay, password does not match. Oh, okay. So let's just try to sign up as a new user body. Uh, Jacob, Jake, Jake, and yeah, let's send this. Okay, so uh, we make a little bit of changes here. We uh, do is uh, uh, because these objects the created user object and like the user object which these are basically sql as objects so if we run a dot get on them it turns into a plain json object so uh when we are uh, trying to log in we need to you know find the password so that we can do this uh, password matching here uh, right uh, but then uh, in the response we don't want to send that so we will just uh, delete uh, the user or password field we will get the token and when we are returning a response what we'll do is we'll take all the keys from uh, user dot uh, get and uh, like the user object and add the token field in addition to that into it again okay. so what happens is we get something like this when you send a response get like the email username bio password uh, and like we get this uh, token stuff in fact yeah uh, we do is uh, let's say const uh, response or you can say const uh, uh, user json equal to let's say we do it like this and if i delete user password you can let it be uh, delete user json dot uh, password and return this user uh, json object instead okay so now that's gonna look like this send it and we get email username bio image and the token so the token is our jwt part that uh, we get here uh, when we are logging in let's uh, keep this saved uh, when we are trying to register for a new user uh, so uh, let's say adam1 we make adam at jake.jake adam jake password let's see the, how that works send and uh, okay uh need to do something similar here as well so uh when we're doing like created user object and we'll take the created user object and uh, when we were doing create jw2 you'll have to turn it into a plain json object again as well so let's do that um send and uh, 
that's the API request to create users yeah so we will uh, find the created of the user and uh, we'll do like create JWT we will pass the JSON object into that uh, and when we return we will add this uh, token to that field again so yep I think that's all that we know need um, I can change this to like Adam 2 Adam 2 dot J dot uh, yep, send and uh, yep we got this new user and uh, we're getting the token inside it so registration and login uh, works uh, and it uh, sends us token now uh, if we put this token into our uh, API field next and we need to work on uh, this endpoint that is um, the, the get proof uh, the get current user get uh, API slash user and they should automatically re return the user that we want okay so let's uh, get started uh, working on that in the next video we'll create a middleware to handle this user creation kind of stuff there okay